Hey me, it's Lauren. Today we're going to be doing a review from Vela FR of her new Basu blush and the updated formula of the Basu balms. Um, I am a major fan of Violette. She has been probably one of the most inspiring makeup artists for me to watch over the last decade. Um, I started watching her channel and I just went down the rabbit hole. I was just absolutely obsessed with her cute cafe style makeup application. It's just so charming and so French. So I loved it. Um, so when she launched her own line, I just got really excited and I did a full review of that. It's been about a year and a half. I'll go ahead and pop the link up here in case you want to watch that. Um, so now she has launched her Bisou blush and there are three shades of this. This is $35. This has been in the making for a while. And I say that because I remember at one point on her channel, she was talking about how everyone commented on her daughter's adorable rosy cheeks. Um, and the uh, Bisou blush that I picked up is actually the shade Ines, which is named after her daughter. So the first thing we'll say about these is I, we have to talk about the smell. So they do smell really good. My friend Kaki messaged me and she's like, oh my God, is this what Aveca Moore smells like? Because if it is, I need it. They do not smell the same. <laughs> the first thing I want to talk about. They do not smell the same. The Basu blush smells more fruity to me. Um, Avec Amour is much more like warm, earthy, musky kind of smell with that vetiver um, and a little bit of ylang lang. But the Basu blush definitely has kind of a fruity smell to it and it smells really nice actually. But that's not like a reason to buy it, okay? <laughs> I just wanted to say that though. So three shades of this. Ines is this like very pretty, like pinky baby cheeks kind of color. And then there's Luisa, which is more of a beige. They call it a tender beige uh, with a little bit of a pink. Um, and the other shade is Aisa, which is better for deeper complexions. And it's a, a very rich, vibrant berry tone. Um, so the unique thing about these is that they have this sort of marbled pigment. And my first thought with that is when you put that on, it is just going to be one color, right? So I was like, there has to be a reason. There's a reason why they did this because I know Violette, she really puts a lot of thought behind all of her products. There is intention and reason behind everything. So I went onto their website and I was reading that one of the pigments is lighter and more sheer and the other is more vibrant and has more pigment. So I'm actually going to take a little scrape of each because I want to show you what they look like on their own and then, you know, seeing what they do together. So there's the lighter one. Here is the, the more vibrant. Here's what they are together. And you'll see when they blend out, it's incredibly easy. It has this sort of like lift on the skin. It doesn't just look flat and heavy and it's not hard to blend out. So here are the lighter of the two. And when you blend that out, it's a little pigmented, but very sheer and has that balmy quality, which is what adds that lift to the formula. And then here you have the deeper pigment, which adds more pigmentation. And so then when you get them together, that's why you get that really beautiful lit from within color, but it's not laying flat on the skin and it's not heavy and it's not dragging. So my thought with this, it reminds me of those products that you see that have like a hydrating core in the middle. They just did it in a more aesthetically pleasing way with this marbling. So you really do get that lift and lightness from the more sheer balmy one. And then you get more of that pigment from the deeper shade. And of course it's marbled, it's beautiful, it's French. So let's go ahead and pop some of this on my cheeks. Twist it up a little bit. This color, I cannot get over. It is so beautiful, I love it. The other thing worth noting about this is there is, a little more right here. There is a brush hidden in the bottom. Classic Vela, she is creating products for on the go. It really fits with her branding. And actually, I think that this brush does a good job of blending out the color. They talk on the website about how it is firm enough to blend out the product without disturbing your makeup underneath. And I feel like that really does what it says it's gonna do. While I normally blend out this type of product with my fingers, I do appreciate the brush on the end and actually that it actually 
blends things out nicely because if you're out somewhere and you haven't had a chance to wash your hands, it's really nice from a sanitation standpoint to not have to touch your face. But really, look at that color. It is so beautiful. I like that this formula is not overly shiny also because sometimes with a cream blush, it can be very shiny. These are described as being more matte. But I think it kind of fits with a lot of, um, like what a lot of brands are doing now where it's like, yes, it is matte, it's not shimmery, but it's like a modern matte where it's not flat on your skin either. I just think this is so beautiful. Like such a well thought out product that is enjoyable to use, easy for on the go. I just, I really, really love this. And this color, Ines, thank you for your rosy baby cheeks because this, this is it. This is so beautiful. I'm actually gonna pop on a little bit of Balm Shine on top of this. I'm gonna use my finger just for a little extra something. Makes your skin look so pretty. I reviewed this a long, long time ago, but this is made without any true pigments in it. It really is just to add reflection and light to the skin, which I think is so lovely. And I also appreciate that she chose not to make this enormous because honestly, I don't need a giant highlighter. <laughs> I love this though. My skin looks so luminous and fresh and radiant. I am fully hooked on this product. I think I would really like to pick up Louisa at some point because I think that would be a really beautiful shade as well. I know Khaki really liked that one. I thought it looked really pretty on. But this color, oh, so good. So let's go ahead and chit chat about the updated Bisou Balm. So these are described as a matte formula. They are balmy. Um, you can build up the pigment. I previously had the shade Batiste in the initial launch um, and I didn't love it because I felt like it was too drying for my lips. I do like something that feels a bit more hydrating and I just felt like after an hour of wear my lips just felt too parched. So they actually, they must have received a lot of feedback similar to that because they updated the formula to be more moisturizing on the lips while still maintaining that matte quality. So they've actually added a new shade. This is the shade Suset. And it is like this beautiful, bright raspberry red. I think it is so, so pretty. Um, there is an ingredient in here and I reached out to them to ask about it, but I haven't heard back from them yet. But it looks like they either added in canola oil or they bumped it up in the formula to make this more moisturizing. I did go ahead and prep my lips the French girl way with some homeoplasmine. Uh, if you don't know what this is, I did a review recently on a whole bunch of French skincare and also how you can get it in the US from the French pharmacy. So if you missed that, I'm gonna also put a link up here for you to do that. But what's nice about homeoplasmine, and I know Violette has talked about this before because she couldn't find it in the US, um, it is moisturizing on your lips without being shiny. You can see my lips are kind of matte right now. And I just put on a very tiny bit of this. Um, I've had it on for a little bit, so I'm gonna just like kind of wipe off the excess here and apply I love this color. I, I cannot get over this color. It is so beautiful. So I'm gonna do just a few swipes at first. These have a very like faint vanilla smell. They're very nice. I just, they, they smell so good. I'm doing a very, very light layer of this. So this gives you that bouche mordu, like bitten lips kind of look. It's so pretty, look at that color. I love how this plays with Ines also, but let me go ahead and build this up for you. And you'll see it still maintains that matte quality. And these have dimethicone in them, so they give you that kind of slip as well. I love the color payoff of this shade, especially compared to Batiste, which was just a little too similar to my own lip color. I definitely get more of what I'm looking for out of Suzette. 
But this formula, the way that they've updated it, they did a fantastic job. You definitely get that matte quality still, but it does not dry your lips out and it lasts for a while. Um, I'm very happy with how they've updated this formula. And I think that they did a great job listening to consumer feedback because it actually is a really lovely product. And I just, I love Violetta Far, if it wasn't obvious. I like, I love her products. I've been so excited about having more of them arriving in her line. Uh, I even have the You Paint Cuisse de Lave on my lids right now. And I also wanna uh, answer something that someone had asked me on a previous post asking me about the U-Paints because but someone had said like, oh, I've heard that they dry out after a month. Um, I've had one of mine, the To Do shade, the matte kind of beigey shade for a year and a half. And just today I went to put some on and it was very thick. It was not completely dried out, but it was very thick. So I realized I had just kind of reached the end of its life. It was not spreading as easily as I had hoped. Um, but I feel like that's more common with the matte shades because the twinkling shades, I feel like they maintain a thinner consistency for a longer period of time. Anyway, I love Viva FR. If it was not obvious, uh, I hope that you'll give these a check because they are really nice. And I also think it's really cute for, um, her line. She does have this stamping emblem on the top with her logo. But for the Visu collection, she did choose to do the same tops with this. And then Bonshine has a gold one. Um, so I do like that she kind of distinguishes her products in that way. Because when you're looking down at them, you can tell pretty easily what you're looking at. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope that this clears up any questions you may have about their products. And if you like this video, please do give it a thumbs up. It helps other people to find my channel. And if you want to see more from me, make sure to hit the subscribe button. I'll see you next time. Bye.